I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hola. Bonjour. Ni hao. Those pronunciations were pretty painful. I took Latin in high school. I'd like to shout out and recognize Superintendent Norcia, World Language Supervisor Lopez, World Language Honor Society Advisors Shoemaker, Cernadas, Samard, and Yang. And most importantly, the student leaders of each of these honor societies, Presidents Godobnikova, Lotem, and Shah. And really most importantly, the stars of this virtual induction ceremony, our new inductees and the current seniors of the class of 2021. They probably have some curse words in these languages for what their last year has been like. Our world is smaller now. We certainly have seen how small it is when a pandemic can spread across the globe many times over. Social media, employment, online gaming, these are all ways that we make connections with people all around the world. However, though our world is smaller, we can become even more isolated. Communication is more important now than ever. Got this from Forbes magazine in May 2014, but it's still relevant today. It's top skills for the future success in, work, in the workplace. Inductees and seniors, I'd like you to listen up because your folks actually want you to get jobs when you're done with school. The first of these skills is sense making. Steve Jobs once said, Creativity is just connecting things. When you ask creative people how they did something, they feel a little guilty because they didn't really do it. They just saw something. Sense-making is all about the ability to connect things to create new ideas. The next one, social intelligence. Relationships and the ability to connect with people becomes and remains a crucial capability. However, as John Hagel pointed out in the article, influence and relationship building will now come from asking the right questions, not necessarily having all the answers. In the age of the individual, you can no longer assume that every person shares the same goals, desires, and motivators. Whether you're engaging with an employee or a customer, everyone is unique and wants to be catered to in a way that's unique to them. The ability to connect with people is a deeper, more meaningful way, whether they're colleagues or strangers, will enable us to thrive beyond the industrial age, get things done, and solve complex problems. To be able to do this, we have to continue to develop capabilities to quickly understand other people's emotions, motivations, and triggers, and take a human approach. The next one is novel and adoptive thinking. At the pace in which companies are changing, staying up to date is no longer enough. Taking self-initiative to constantly improve your skills, putting yourself outside your comfort zone, becoming a perpetual student and quickly adapting to new realities will help ensure that you're creating value and will keep you outside of the possibility of being outsourced. The final one is cross-cultural competency. And this is so important for the study of foreign languages and cultures. Globalization is the reality. Many of us work globally every day, interacting with a multitude of cultures. But those who know how to empathize and adjust their communications and style of collaboration will always have an advantage when working across geographies and cultures. 
I know that was a lot to digest, but it's some really good advice. And I think that the learning that you've done, the ways in which you've studied, the connections that you've made, are really going to position you for great success moving forward. Speech, speaking of digesting, the best part of these ceremonies, particularly the world language ceremonies, is food. Unfortunately, since we're not at school and not having this in person, you're going to have to raid your own fridge after this is over. But as you know, if you've been to another country, you've been part of another culture, to smile, to laugh, to enjoy food and drink, this is a universal language. You have the skills to be able to interact in those settings. Share those with the world. Seeing you, Fairlawn High School students, our best and brightest, become global citizens is really pretty cool. Thank you, and congratulations. Hello. My name is Mrs. Lopez, and I am the supervisor of world languages, English language learners, and music. I am thrilled to be able to speak and honor excellence in the study of a world language at this virtual Fairlawn High School World Language Honor Society induction ceremony. I would like to thank you for joining us as we honor students who have demonstrated a deep level of commitment to the practice and study of a world language and culture. Thank you to our supportive Board of Education members, a special thank you to our Fairlawn High School administrators, our district world language teachers, and thank you to our advisors, Ms. Shoemaker, Ms. Hernadas, Ms. Simard, and Ms. Yang. After this very challenging year, our inductees exemplify what the school and community look for in our students. Our new inductees have been chosen for their excellence in four major areas, leadership, scholarship, service, and character. Our ceremony represents a significant time in each student's journey in the study of a world language. Knowing another language is transformative and life-changing. This year has been a year where we have accepted change in our personal lives as well as in our languages. This past week, I read an article about a famous French dictionary, including a record number of new words, many of which have emerged from the coronavirus epidemic. Not only has our physical and daily lives changed, so have our languages. The famous linguist David Crystal shares, language itself changes slowly, but the internet has speeded up the process of those changes so you notice them more quickly. I want to extend his sentiment to include that a pandemic also speeds up the process of those changes so you notice new words more quickly. In closing, Please know there is always lots to learn in language learning. Inductees, continue to maintain excellent grades, demonstrate a passion and commitment in your world language classes, and participate in various in-school and out-of-school community service activities. Congratulations again. The aim of the organization is to stimulate interest in the study of French, to promote high standards of scholarship, to reward scholastic achievements, to create enthusiasm for and an understanding of Francophone culture and civilization, to promote and perpetuate international friendship, and to reward efforts towards furthering solidarity in the French-speaking world. The chapter of the French Honor Society at Fairlawn High School sponsors tutoring services to aid the students enrolled in all levels of French courses. In addition, the chapter seeks to sponsor cultural events to offer all students exposure to the French culture above and beyond the classroom. To this end, we enjoyed our annual French Week and Cultural Evening. Recognition awards are distributed yearly to graduating seniors who best exemplified the aim of the French Honor Society. The transmission or handing on of the torch is a ceremony which used to take place in ancient Greece. For this solemn occasion, the citizens lined up at equal distances one from the others, forming a sort of chain. 
The first one in line lit the torch at the altar, ran to transmit it to a second, who transmitted it to a third. Thus, from hand to hand, each citizen ran without a backward glance, keeping alive the flame which he was to hand to another. Plato recognized in this running with a torch the image of the succeeding generations of life. We who shall be leaving you in a few months transmit to you the torch of our enthusiasm and our motto, une personne qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. La course du flambeau est une cérémonie qui avait lieu à Athènes dans la Grèce antique. Pour cette solennité, des citoyennes s'espaçaient formant une sorte de chaîne. Le premier allumé en flambeau à l'hôtel courait le transmettre à un second qui le transmettait à un troisième. Et ainsi, de main en main, chaque citoyenne courait, sans regarder en arrière, percevant la flamme qu'elle allait remettre à un autre. Platon a reconnu dans cette course de flambeau l'image des générations de la vie. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait de langue en vade. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait de langue en vade. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait de langue en vade. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues et vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues et vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vos deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait de langue en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Personne qui sait de langue en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait de langue en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues, une veut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues, en veut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues, en veut deux. 
Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en voto. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en voto. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en voto. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. Pour bien connaître une personne, il faut savoir sa langue. Une personne qui sait deux langues en vaut deux. Parse flambeau. Parse flambeau. Symbole de transfert des connaissances. Symbole de transfert des connaissances. Je m'engage à continuer sans relâche. Je mes efforts pour m'inscrire et transmettre aux futures générations. Mon amour pour la langue et la culture française. Mon amour pour la langue française. Félicitations à tous. Your hard work and dedication are being recognized. No matter what, you kept high standards. This is what it's all about. Félicitations. I will take a moment to say thank you to my officers. It was a pleasure to work with them this year. Merci Natalia, Katrina, Emma, and Eric. They have kept our members active and engaged throughout the year. All the work and tutoring session have been posted on our Fairlawn High School website. I want to say goodbye to our senior members as well and welcoming the new members. Alors, au revoir et à l'année prochaine. Félicitations tout le monde. On behalf of the Fairlawn High School chapter of the National French Honor Society, I would like to be the first to welcome you and congratulate you on your induction. I would like to extend a thank you to Mr. Gorski and Ms. Lopez for their kind words and support. I would like to thank the administration, the language department, the French teachers, the parents, and everyone watching this video for helping and supporting the Honor Society and its dedication to the French language and culture. Thank you to our officers, Katerina Kasatkin, Eric Piskarev, and Emma Steinhardt, who worked alongside Madame Samard and I in putting together this induction and this video. A big thank you to Madame Samard, who has guided all of the members, officers, and inductees. Her enthusiasm and dedication to the French language and culture influences every student who interacts with her, and through her, that passion is able to extend to her students. Madame inspires us to continue and spread that passion onto our communities, our families, and our friends. I would like to take this moment to highlight the perseverance and the adaptability of the faculty, students, and staff throughout this unprecedented year as we continue to navigate the effects of this pandemic. To our new inductees, while the officers and I have had limited interaction with you, we would like to congratulate you once again and say thank you for taking this opportunity to spread and celebrate the French language and culture. No doubt the journey you are starting now is one you will enjoy over the next few years as you continue your high school career. Merci et au revoir.